What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 15 things that happened for the first time in WWE for 2023. Should be a very interesting one by Tap Out Corner. He always has some great videos. We definitely did see some first time evers in WWE. So I'm looking forward to checking out this list, going back down memory lanes to some of the first times in WWE for this year. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Been around right for 70 one. years and still there are things that haven't happened until tales in 23 a lot of them are positive but this first one might make you mad in the main event of night one of wrestlemania 39 kevin owens and Sami Zayn fought the usos for the undisputed great main WWE event tag team great great great, great main During event the match jimmy and jay hit Zane with the d1 or the 3d as fans mm -hmm. of Dudley boys would call it why is this a big deal? Yep. Because no one in WWE had ever kicked out yep. of that finishing move, which is an incredibly rare thing in modern wrestling. Surprisingly, this wasn't the only first that happened in this match. By partaking, bro, he kicked out. Bro, that's oh, this was such a, such a great match, such a great moment, great way to cap off night one of WrestleMania, in my opinion, the superior night. Night two was definitely had some really good stuff, but I feel like night one was just a complete package. This was great. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, the Usos, main event in WrestleMania, crowd going crazy, him kicking out the 1D. It's just, it's, it's just fantastic, bro. Speaking in the match, Sami Zayn became the first Muslim to main event WrestleMania. Wow. This is also the first time a tag team championship match was in the WrestleMania main event. And that that's just a testament to how good they have set up this bloodline story. First tag team match to main event of WrestleMania, and it was worth every single penny for those who paid and went there live. Kevin Owens also made history. Thanks to his tag team title match, as well as his match with Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 38 the year prior, KO became the first person to main event back-to-back -back WrestleManias without a world title being on the line. That's crazy, man. There are some man. more firsts that happened at WrestleMania 39, which we'll share in a bit. First, I gotta share this next one because it's crazy. On the final SmackDown before the 2023 Royal Rumble, Bobby Lashley confronted his opponent, Brock Lesnar. Lashley was treated to an F5, but that's not what stood out. This was the first time since 2007 that Lashley physically appeared on SmackDown. And don't forget, Damn. Bobby Lashley had been part of the WWE roster since 2018. Lashley Damn. topped himself a couple of months later when he competed in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Before that, Bobby Lashley's most recent SmackDown match was from March 23rd, 2007. Damn! It had been almost exactly Didn't 16 even years that. since Bobby competed on SmackDown. Just like in 2007, though, Bobby Lashley won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Wow, Talking didn't about know that. appearances, this one is even more insane. Since Monday Night Raw began in 1993, Vince McMahon always made at least one appearance, if not multiple, on WWE shows. That came to an end in 2023. Despite returning to WWE in a corporate role, McMahon did not make any appearances on TV you know what? this year. On a similar note, since WWE was founded back... That's... You're right. He has not shown up on television. None this year. That's crazy. Wow. The times have changed, and some would say for the better. <laughs> in 1953, as the Capital Wrestling Corporation, the company has always been owned by McMahon. However, in April 2023, mm -hmm. WWE was sold to the talent and media holding company Endeavor. Then, on September 12th, 2023, the deal was finalized, and mm -hmm. after 70 years, WWE was no longer owned by the McMahon family. Nope. Something most people thought would never happen. Which is crazy. Here's to, something else a lot to, of people never thought would like, happen again. Just the thought of that, that McMahon doesn't own WWE anymore like that, it's just, it's mind-boggling. I've always thought it, it was going <laughs> to, somehow, someway, McMahon was going to always own the company, but things have changed. The times have changed, and that's crazy to think that that's not the case anymore. Regardless if you like AEW or not, it is amazing that we live in a time where there's a second major wrestling company. One mm -hmm. reason that's cool is because of what happened on May 28th, 2023. That day, AEW held its Double or Nothing pay-per-view. At the same time, WWE hosted NXT Battleground. Mm -hmm. This was the first time in over 30 years WWE had a pay-per-view that went head-to-head -head with another major wrestling yep. company. The last time this happened was on April 2nd, 1989, when WrestleMania 5 went head-to-head -head with WCW's Clash of the Champions 6. The real question, though, is who won, AEW or WWE? Attendance-wise, Battleground had 3,482 fans in the crowd, okay. while AEW had three times that number at 10,550. Although only 9,000 were paying fans. 
As for pay-per-view buy rates, AEW wins by default, with 140,000 homes putting money down to watch double or nothing. NXT Battleground, on the other hand, was streamed on Peacock and the WWE Network, with no viewership numbers publicly available. Yeah. The Undertaker has accomplished a lot of things that most wrestlers can only dream of. What makes it even more impressive is despite retiring in 2020, the dead man is still adding to his impressive resume. On the October 10th, 2023 episode of NXT, Braun yep. Breaker fought Carmelo Hayes and lost. Breaker acted like a sore loser and attacked Carmelo after the match. However, Undertaker came out to take care of business mm -hmm. and taught Braun a lesson. This was the first time The Undertaker had ever appeared on NXT. Keep in yeah. mind, NXT started back in 2010, when The Undertaker was still a full-time wrestler. Seth Rollins and AJ Styles World Heavyweight Championship. Nah, that was a uh, that was just a star-stunned NXT. They they pulled out all the stars for that particular episode, and uh, yeah, it was one of those type of things where it was it was fun to see some of the legends. We get it why they did it, you know, obviously to pop a rating, but still, nevertheless, it was fun to see those, uh, you know, the Undertaker in NXT. The people that was there, I know for a fact, they they enjoyed themselves. Match at Night of Champions 2023 made history. Not only did Seth become the inaugural World Heavyweight Champ, mm -hmm. but this is also the first time a WWE World title had been won outside of Europe mm -hmm. and North America mm -hmm. since the event took place in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Speaking of Saudi Arabia, since WWE started writing shows in the country in April 2018, one man has wrestled on every single event. That was until Crown Jewel 2023 in November. Despite wrestling on the previous nine other Saudi Arabia Damn. shows, Brock Lesnar did not have a match. It's a shame. That's crazy. He has wrestled on every single one of them. That's very interesting. I forgot all about that. Most of them are forgettable, but... I yeah, he's wrestled damn near on every single one. Had Lesnar competed at Crown Jewel 2023, it would have been a perfect 10. Speaking of international That's crazy. Universe, 2023 was a good year to be a WWE yeah, fan. Of yeah. For the first time since 2005, WWE broadcasted a pay-per-view or a premium live event from the territory. Not only that, but the night before Backlash, WWE hosted its first ever televised show from Puerto Rico when SmackDown aired from San Juan. Now, let so me share good. with you those other wrestling. Love that. Man, Backlash, in my opinion, outside of WrestleMania Night 1, is probably my favorite favorite PLE of the year. It's it's That was just a good event because that crowd was so electric. It was so great. Oh, man, that was, that was good. And there's been some real good ones this year, but that's one of my favorites for sure. WrestleMania first. WrestleMania 35 may have made history for being the first time the main event of WWE's biggest show had all female competitors. However, WrestleMania 39 in 2023 did one better. On night one, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair fought for the SmackDown Women's mm -hmm. Championship. What made this match historic was that this is the first time a woman officiated a woman's match at mm. WrestleMania. WWE referee Jessica Carr was in the ring and laying down the law, making this the first WrestleMania match to involve all women. Roman And uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, that match was great. If it wasn't for the tag team championship match being the main event, that definitely could have been the main event. For sure. That was fantastic. That was really, really, really good match. Reigns is breaking all kinds of records with his over three year long reign as world champion. One that he kind of broke by accident happened at WrestleMania 39. On night two, Reigns defended his title against Cody Rhodes. This made Roman Reigns the first person to defend a championship at three straight WrestleManias under the same title reign. Not wow, only that, but Roman was in the bro. main event of all three shows. That's now, wild, to watch the bro. best and worst of WWE in 2023, uh, hit the playlist. Oh, bro. Uh, it, it, that's a crazy accomplishment how they've set it up for him. It's just Dale. It's. <laughs> He's gonna main event another WrestleMania. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna main event another one. The only thing is, will he finally lose? We don't fucking know. Oh, I hope he does. Oh my goodness. Comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite moment from WWE this year. Doesn't matter if it's a return. I know a lot of y'all probably gonna say CM Punk returning. Doesn't matter if it's a, 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 a match. Whatever the case may be, what's your favorite moment from WWE this year? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. 
Road to 150k. And I'm still young. Speedy YouTube. Rest of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.